was feeling kind of slow and tired today for some reason at the end of the day. I'm, I've been feeling pretty good lately, but today I'm just, you know, some of those days. So kind of got a, a low key uh, thing going today. So let's get it started. Welcome to, oh crap, I don't know what episode it is. I think it's 59. Welcome to episode 59 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul J. Daly, and today I am just kind of tired. And that's why my desk is a complete mess if you're watching this instead of listening to it. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. Episode 59, last week we had Ernie Garcia, the CEO of Carvana. So this week I thought it'd be good to kind of like bring it back to basics, bring it back to normal, have a little personal time without somebody else in the room. We've had guests the last two weeks we've had guests. So I thought it was a good time for a break and like, let's get back to basics. And I know I want to start off by saying one thing. If you're the kind of person that's driven to improve, and I'm guessing if you're listening to this podcast, it's because in some way in your life, you're driven to improve. You're driven to find more clarity. You're driven to find more of the reasons why you do what you do or why your relationships are working the way they are or not working the way they are, or you want to improve your branding and marketing, or you want some motivation as an entrepreneur, or you just want a community and have a little energy in your day. Either way, I want to say that doing things and constantly approving can be exhausting. And today I'm actually feeling some of that exhaustion. Like I said, my desk is a mess. I'm grinding hard. I know I've been dropping hints on social media. I haven't been around as much on social media, which is in essence, I kind of miss it. I miss the interaction, but at the same time, I'm incredibly busy. I'm running hard. And one of those reasons I'm going to show the people who are watching, we got a little preview here. Got a little preview here. I'll show Instagram too. We got a little preview of the book I've been working on called The Automotive Manifesto, and it's really a book. Uh, the subtext is how brand connection can save retail automotive. And I think that it's not just for retail automotive, but it's how brand connection can save retail, how it can improve retail. And there are a bunch of other verticals um, that really that applies to. Let me push this TV out of the way. It's kind of annoying. And so I've been busy writing this book while running a business, while trying to be on social media, while trying to do a hundred other things, make sure our clients are taken care of and we're deploying good strategy with them and building brands. And just look, I'm, I'm married, I have three kids. It's easy to get exhausted. And so in the times when it's easy to get exhausted are the times when I like to bring it back to basics. And we just got a question on Instagram Live what are you kind of like, I need some motivation because I'm kind of down on constantly trying to improve. And if it takes me to say this right now, it's okay to take a break. It's okay. Because there's some things that you really need to understand if you're feeling down is when you really have a gut check. Gut check number one is what you're doing, what you really want to be doing. Are you doing it and pushing and driving to improve, to build something, whatever, because it's something that you want to do? Or is it based on someone else's expectations and emotional attachments and judgments that shouldn't be judgments and you're fashioning your whole life and your whole drive and your whole hustle to kind of build this sense of self-identity for somebody else? Guess what? That's exhausting and no wonder you're tired. So I happen to believe in what I'm doing and I believe it's the right way and I'm still tired. So it's not an you know, antidote for being tired, but it's a great time to go back to the basics and no, back to the basics and say, is what I'm doing what I want to be doing? And sometimes when you get back to the basics, it can start to motivate you again because you remember what it is that you're about. If that is in place, and that's the most important thing, if that's in place and you're doing the things you want to do, you're exhausted just because you're on the grind and you're writing books and you're building business and you're doing whatever it is. If you're doing the things that you want to be doing and you're still exhausted, it just might be time for a rest. We don't hear enough of the things today where it's just like, take a break. It's okay to take a break. I'll say it again. It's okay to take a break. Actually, I would argue taking a break sometimes is the most progressive thing you can do toward your goal. Because if you're burnt out 
and you're not refreshed and you're feeling tired and you're feeling down, then you're not helping anybody. Your efficiency goes down. Your productivity goes down. You make people around you angry. You get angry at them. So those two things. Know that you're doing what you want to do. Number two, it's okay to take a break. So I, I have one thing that I do want to cover today. And this is, you just came back from your vacation. Instagram Live says, I just came back from vacation and I'm still exhausted. You really need to go back to phase one and make sure that what you're doing is aligned or you need to take different types of vacations. Don't take a vacation where you're busy the whole time. It's not a vacation. So I was on a podcast today. I was a guest on a podcast and the topic came up like, what should business owners do if they want to, you know, get their strategy together. So we're not just talking automotive, we're talking retail, we're talking uh, any kind of business, any kind of organization. It could be a not-for-profit. So what is the first thing you can do to get your strategy in order? If you want to pivot and if you want to you know, go down a new road and you see that change needs to happen and you want to be the harbinger of that change and you're the leader, what do you do first? And my answer you know, I hadn't known the question. It just popped up. And I was like, well, first I would say this. This is old school productivity advice. Write the goal down. Now, I know I'm not blowing anybody's mind because that's old wisdom, but it just struck me. Just write it down. If you want to change something, if you want to be less exhausted, Instagram Live, right? If you want to be less exhausted then what you need to do is write down that my goal for the next three months is to manage my energy so I'm not exhausted or learn what I need to do to manage my energy better. There's a good goal. If you want to change your organization to a different sales model, a different operations model, a different company culture, what do you do? Write down the goal. And if you write down the goal, statistically speaking, you're 50% more likely to accomplish it just by writing it down. And if it's not important enough, if you're listening and you want to change and there's something going on and it's not important enough for you to write it down right now, then guess what? It's just not that important. Just own that. So that was my answer. Write the goal down. Mind-blowing, right? If you write that goal down, I promise you, you are much more likely to make it happen. And the nice part is it only takes like 10 seconds. And I think what you do, there's almost a level of commitment that sets in. I've done this myself. I did it one year. I wrote down 10 goals. And guess what? I accomplished like eight of them. And then the next thing that came out, one. now what's the next thing they can do? Because really the, the, the goal is to get to something operational. Okay, yeah, write the goal down. The second is you have to align the people around you. If you especially, I'm talking to the leaders that lead a team right now, you have to align the people around them. So say you want to make an organizational change. Take a look at your senior leadership team, the people that report directly to you that you are going to rely on to execute this goal that you just wrote down. And you're going to look and you're going to be like, well, Bob's going to be pissed when I tell him. That dude's going to flip his lid when he realizes the comp plan is changing. That person's always resistant. And this guy, well, he, he's always pretty much on board for whatever I say, right? And that's, I guess, that's a majority negative group. I think you might need a new group. Maybe it's you, actually. If you have that negative of group, I bet the problem is you. Just saying. So aligning the people around you so that you can actually accomplish the goal. And I want to give you some real practical knowledge right here. And this is something I learned from, uh, what book did I get this from? I think the book Entree Leadership by Dave Ramsey. But I used this throughout my entire entrepreneurship career. It's what I use to really structure Image Auto's leadership as I grown and I learned a little bit more. It's what I use in building the agency I'm building now. It's what I use in any other organization or operation I'm a part of, right? And it's this element of unity. If you don't have unity, then it's just gonna be a big freaking mess. And there are three levels of unity, okay? You ready? There's acceptance, there's agreement. Oh, got those backwards. There's agreement there's acceptance, and there's alignment. Let me explain the three. Agreement. The person says, oh, did I get these backwards? I think I did. Bear with me. Bear with me. It's a... What? <laughs> I can't get it right. Okay, I remember. It's accept acceptance. It's agreement, alignment. Acceptance, agreement, alignment. First level of unity. Acceptance. The person says, well... You're my boss. Well, you're the one in charge. So I accept that this is the direction you want to go. I just accept it. 
this direction you're going to go, we're going to go that way. Okay. If the person doesn't accept it, then they really shouldn't be on the team, right? If they're like, okay, well, not because it makes them a bad person, but because it's like you need a team that accepts the direction. So once they accept it, it goes to the next level. The next level is agreement. The person says, not only do I accept it, but I also personally agree that this is the direction we're going to go. Right. So it's great. You have a team and they agree that the decisions and that the course that you're plotting is the right course. Great. But the ultimate level, the level you really need to get to if you're going to have any type of high performing team is alignment. That means it's straight in lockstep, in parallel. And alignment says not only do I accept it, not only do I agree that it's the right way to go. But I see it as my responsibility, my personal responsibility to make it happen. And when you have that in an organization is when you really start to take some ground. So to go back high level, if you're struggling with what strategy do I take to launch this new initiative or accomplish this new thing, whether it's a personal life, whether it's family, this works inside the family walls as well. This works with a spouse. This works with your kids. This works with your neighbors. If you want to do that, have a goal, understand what it is enough so that you can write it down. And when you write it down, you're 50% 50 more likely to accomplish it. After that, the next thing you need to do is align the other people around you. The three levels of alignment or unity, right? You have to align them so that you have unity, the three levels. Acceptance, okay. Agreement. I agree that's what we should do. And then alignment, which says, I see it as my personal responsibility to help you make that happen. I don't have a lot more for episode 59. I started out really tired, actually. Now the game's getting me fired up because I realized that I love what I'm doing. I love being a part of the community here on Instagram, the community and the podcast, the team that I get to work with every single day here at Congruent. And I realized we have alignment. And I realize we have our trajectory. So that's exciting to me. It's exciting to me that you were a part of this podcast, a part of this community. We have a book releasing soon. Stay tuned. You can sign up for the email list and we'll let you know when the pre-order happens. Um, it's going to happen really soon within the next week or so. We hope to have some really cool swag. We have an event that's brewing and I think it might actually fall into place. So more to come on that. And just if you have any questions or help, please hit me up on DM, send me an email. I've been interacting with people on DM. I've been doing FaceTimes. I've been doing phone calls. People that just have random business challenges. You need a sounding board. You need some advice. I'm ready to help. And I do. And I don't know. There, there are people out there. I don't know how you would hear from them, but they'll tell you I actually answer. I actually help because uh, I love people and I love people that are trying to improve themselves. That's what this is about getting some clarity. So that's episode 59. Thank you for listening and being part of it. I'm going to bounce out to Instagram live and answer some questions. 